three, what is going on guys? It's Ben from the Parker Brothers and welcome back to another fishing video. Today you join me, myself and Louis, which is one of the Parker Bates ambassadors, we're down at the Linear Fisheries Complex. Now it's only a quick 24 hours. We've been walking around this morning, done a couple of hours, looking at the lakes. We've walked around St. John's, we've had a look at B1, had a look at B2, walked round to Hardwick's <laughs> on the road bank, looked out and saw two fish show in quite sort of quick duration of time so with that we've driven round dropped our obviously luggage in the swim and that is where i'm at now in the video guys so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take you on my journey over the duration of the next 24 hours and hopefully just hopefully we can get some bangers on the bank but before i start this video guys give us a thumbs up make sure you comment down below smash that just smash that subscribe button so you don't miss any videos going forward and hopefully just hopefully like i said i can bring you a banger with Louis. <laughs> Let's catch some Nosser pigs. Come on the carp. So boom, the rods are out. Louis over there, he's already set up. This, guy, this guy's a machine, he sets up quicker than I've ever... Only, I've only just got my rods out. He's got his bivvy set up, kettle's on. He's got his jacuzzi set up over there, he's ready to go. <laughs> but yeah, that's where we're at. Um, second time on Hardwick, only fished here once before. And last time we were here, we were actually, me and T were fishing that point swim and I had a common. And if you haven't seen that video, guys, the England game was on as well. And it was a real, real experience up here. It was absolutely fantastic, you know, when England scored. I think we were playing Germany at that time and we won and it was amazing. Everybody was howling around the lakes and stuff. So, there it is, 24 hours bring on the carp and like I said I'm going to try and keep in the loop although this is a bit of a social as well up here for me and Louie but I've put the put the rods sort of there's 16 and a half wraps out towards this tree over here which is where we saw the fish initially um, first thing I've done was put a bit of bait out as well come the spawn bit of bait out 10 spawns on the spots I know they love their bait and they love their they love their bait on all the lakes up here but very bitty bits you know hemp sweet corn mulched up boilies 10 millers stuff like that and that is exactly how I'm fishing. Like I said, three on the money, two on, one just off. Beep there on the middle rod. Um, yeah, so there we're at. That's where we're at and that's what we're doing. Slowly getting there now, just set the bivvy up and um, bed chairs in. But carnage over here, Louis making a drink. There's absolute carnage over here at the moment. I need a good tidy up and get it all in my bivvy. Let me sit back and watch that water. Let's get this away. Slowly getting there. That's the last bit. So now I just need to move the barrel over and out and I am comfortable. So just got 11, I've got my towel in my hands. I've just cleaned my hands off. Three spoms on the money. And you can see, you can see that flat spot out there clear as day. That's the new bait spray. We've got a fish bait spray coming out. And uh, it's absolutely dev devastating in its own right. And um, it has the same sort of effect as hemp. You know, that hemp, that sort of, um, quite easy to get a flat spot that oil sort of content within it sort of makes that makes that beautiful spot out there and obviously when fish come over the spot and feed and you get these sort of bits that come up as well so you can sort of see when there's fish on your spot so yeah a couple of spoms top up so I'm probably on about 14 spoms now I've put out but I'm gonna leave it now at least a couple of hours probably to about one o'clock haven't had nothing by one o'clock maybe think think about rechanging the rigs and potentially jumping onto zigs and then also topping up again with a couple of spoms if i'm going to keep on the spot that i'm fishing so i'm just sat in my bivvy now and there's a guy can directly opposite me i saw him looking when we were setting up and we were giving him the bait and that and he's just turned up with his wheelbarrow so in theory that should should um, push the fish over this way when he starts sort of spomming, putting his leads out, putting lines in the water. Hopefully it pushes them our, our way and sort of gives us even more of an advantage. So I'm going to sit back and um, again lock onto the water and just see and hopefully act upon what the fish want me to do and sort of just like I said keep watching and um, yeah go from there. I'll see you in a bit. Thank you. 
Well, instead of me sat there doing nothing, I'm just prepping my zigs there. And what I've done is, um, again, I can talk in more depth about zigs if people want to know uh, more about them. Get, get in the comments down below. But what I've done is there, bit of shrink tube, the small quarter shrink tube, and I've pushed it up as far as I can. So then what that does is, it sits lovely on the back of the um, shank of the hook or the back of the hook there. It sits lovely. Um, I use 15 pound double strength. It's an absolute game changer. It's been in the game a long, long, long time. Uh, 10 years plus, so that's something I've been using. I think it's absolutely brilliant for zigs and it's probably the best material and very very strong as well but I'm gonna give it another hour or so before I start playing about of them but there's no arm in being ahead of the game I've got my mates down here just cleaning my hands again because I've just topped up with three or four spoms they're little half spoms the two so the right hand rod and the middle rod is now on zigs I'm running one six and around seven foot so one's slightly sort of smaller than the other and again you can probably just about see the flat spot off the back there I don't want to go crazy with bait. We're both getting randy liners quite consistently as well, which is a bit strange because I don't normally get that up here unless I've got fish on us. So hopefully if we have got fish on us, I can sort of try and find them depths and potentially nick one. But for now, I'm quite content. I've got a coffee behind me. Rod's in front of me. I'm out fishing and I got a view. So <laughs> fingers crossed, fingers crossed. Me or Louis can nick one, hopefully before it gets dark come on the car. Right then guys, as you can probably see behind me now, I've just put out another rod and what I've done is there, just so I'm covering the water, there's nobody fishing down for me, so I'm more than my rights to sort of use that water. It's very quiet to be honest with you. I think there's five on the whole lake from what I can see. But what I've done is it's sort of a flat spot where I think I saw something as we, when we first initially come up and we were looking out through the car, sort of a little bit closer. And so I've punched one straight out over there. Tiny little mesh, tiny little mesh bag with it. Um, one of our OG fish um, uh, little 40 mil dumbbells with a tiny little yellow topper on and like I said a little mesh bag and what I've done is I've, I've cast it out first got my clip where I'm happy with it reeled it back in therefore I didn't need to do my clips and obviously just as long as I hit clip and I'm pointing it towards the same direction get that donk I'm happy which is what I've done so if you're wondering why my setup looks a bit funny at the moment that's the reason why um, but I'm just trying to do everything within my power to nick a bite um, and then obviously this evening I'm going to move over and then concentrate back on that original spot top up with a little bit more bait make sure just before dark every single rod is uniform I've looked at it the pressure's coming down nice we've got a lovely southwesterly coming in it's very mild tonight um, we got it goes down to around I think the quarter uh, it's about eight eight degrees well last week I was fishing in minus two so very very different and I'm really looking forward to get my teeth into the rest of this session and I really do hope they switch on it we're also meant we're due for a bit of rain come uh, I think it was on there three o'clock from what I've seen I, again I check that and I'll touch base with you later um, you're thinking what's that the road behind particularly on this uh, this bank at Hardwick you've got the um, uh, the road directly behind the swim so that's the update for now guys um, Louis in front of me now redoing his rods and um, he's happy with them and he's just mentioned to me when they're out they're not coming back in then till the morning so fingers crossed we can nick a carp I'll see you in a bit So I've got Louis behind me now and it, it, it looks absolutely mental out there at the moment. Proper moody. Clouds sort of stacking up over the back there. And obviously the sun sort of hitting the top of them trees over to our right. But yeah, it's looking absolutely mega out there. It really is. I just hope. I know I keep saying it every time, but I hope tonight it goes off. <laughs> I really do. It's a little update time really. It's now quarter past two. Um, Obviously, like I said earlier, I've obviously punched that one with right hand rod over towards that sort of area where nobody's fishing. But what I've done is obviously I've got two rods over my baited spot, two zigs. I've got one at seven and a half fish, and the other one was around sort of just under six, I reckon. Um, so what I've done is that the one just under six, I've dropped it back down to, well, I've dropped it to probably just over three now so it's trying to find them depths because if you can find where they are sometimes you can nick a few um, but I'm gonna pl keep playing about that for the next couple of hours before dark my um, 
predicament is, is do I go one on a zig tonight, three foot quite low in the water because it's meant to rain, and then fish two on the spot, um, or do I just put all three on the spot? So I'm gonna sort of um, have a little think about that. And also you're probably thinking, Ben, that's not a Parker Bates beanie. And y you'd be right. Um, <laughs> I've had to put the rider on today, this one. And um, <laughs> yeah, basically the two I've got are in the wash. And I've got one to wear out this morning and absolutely stinks of OG fish where I've been in the factory and been doing this. So I thought, uh, I'll bring it with me. If I catch a fish, I'll put it on. But <laughs> For now, this one's keeping me warm and it don't smell of OG fish, so that's the reason why I'm not wearing a Parker Bates beanie, because I know I'm going to get a comment. So yeah, that's the update for now. Like I said, just gone two, fingers crossed. Right then guys, I'm a little bit ahead of the game. I don't even know what the time is to be honest. What is the time? I don't even know what the time is to be honest. Um, but I know I've probably got about an hour left of the light, just probably about half past four, four-ish, something like that. Little high vis and a little bag. What I've done is I've actually opted my right hand rod um, because there's nobody. I've walked down the bank, um, she brought my rods in first and uh, checked nobody's down there, but I've actually opted to put a rod on its own over there. Reason for that is, is myself and Lou are actually fishing very similar water. We've got five rods out there. I think it'd be silly not to try at least one rod off the spot. So I'm gonna fish two on the money on the baited spot out there. And then one, this one to my right is on the money and I've just put five spawns directly over the top of it slightly different mix primarily og fish that one um but that's all i've done and i'm literally going to leave that rod till the morning now i'm not going to reel that in um unless obviously someone turns up but now to get them get this rod out but i'm going to see where this lands to then deter which rod i'm going to keep to my left and one to my right but this needs to be i want these rods two foot off each other so hopefully <laughs> i get it right first time i'll see you in a bit First time, not so lucky. Let's try that again, um, <laughs> and uh, hopefully hit the I hit the clip not so hard this time. Hit the clip, but way too hard. So let's try. And third time lucky. <laughs> Well, it took me three, but on the third one, finally got where I needed to get. Hit clip lovely, got a lovely dog. And I'm just, just to the right of the baited air on that one. So this one I need to get just to the left now, but happy with that. And that rod will be staying out till tomorrow morning. Well, after three times, I got that left hand rod out in the end and now I'm greeted by the swans down there. So they think I'm uh, feeding them, but I've already fed them off today. I ain't doing it again, <laughs> but yeah three times there you go and like I said two rods six casts and just goes to show but I was on B1 a couple of weeks ago fishing twice as far as I was fishing out and getting it on the on the money every time it's just weird maybe I'm just having one of them sessions I don't know hopefully not because I would like to nick a, I would like to nick a couple tonight but like I said in the end got them out absolutely lovely very deep out there it is till I got the donk got a lovely not lovely crisp crack you know what i mean like i'm definitely fishing on the money uh pop up on one wafter on the other 
and I'm just going to top up now. I'm not going to record this, guys. I'm going to top up with a couple of spoms, and then I'm going to literally watch the water now. I'm going to turn social media off, lock onto the water, and I'll probably touch base with you now, guys, when it starts to get dark. And hopefully, you see me before because I've got a fish or I'm playing a fish. But that is the update for now. And um, yeah, like I said, fingers crossed, we're in for a hell of a night and we get some rhinocerpigs on the bank. I'll see you in a bit. Right guys, I was going to obviously, and again, <laughs> there's fish showing off my right hand rod at the moment and I mean they are on me. The only slightly worrying thing is, is just over to the left of that, myself and Lewis sat here and thinking three breach at the same time and again there's another, something just touched and again something's just come up over the spot. It does worry me because it makes me think I need to flick onto zigs, but I'm going to hold off and I'm just going to watch now and let the fish tell me what I need to do. Um, if I don't have something in a couple of hours and they persist to show over the spot, then that would be silly not to flick onto a zig. So I'm going to keep watching, <laughs> but definitely, definitely, definitely put a little bit of confidence in me because they're showing very, very close or on the spot. So come on the car as well. It's pretty dark out there now and I thought I'd quickly do my dinner for this evening. Like you said, it's only a quick one. <laughs> throw together this evening chicken vegetable soup with some not spicy rice smoky barbecue rice because that's what was in the cupboard before I come last night it was all a big quick quick throw it all in that'll do not really care about eating let's concentrate on the fishing kind of jobby but I've also got this burn your bum sauce I reckon this is going to be so um, <laughs> I'm going to splash a bit of that in there as well and um, see what kind of concoction I can come up with and um, yeah I'll keep you posted <laughs> right without I don't know if you can see that you see that Sick, mate. That's what it looks like. It tastes better than it looks, definitely. Um, I'll put that hot sauce in. That hot, it's not hot sauce though, because that's not very hot at all. I'm gonna definitely put a bit more of that in. But yeah, although it looks like cat sick taste all right and that will do me for tonight like I said I'm not too fussed about food I just want to get something inside me just to set you know for eating sake and um trying to give me some energy because so hopefully I'm up all night catching fish but <laughs> it's not looking great so far so and oh and since that last clip as well the fish showing over the top of me um that probably was about 40 minutes ago something like that so I'm definitely definitely going to leave it a little bit longer but then I didn't see any more fish show over the spot so I'm I know I said to you earlier I was going to put zigs out, but now I'm probably not going to put zigs out because it was a quick show. Was that a pack moving through and then moved off? I don't know, but anyway, I'm going to shut up, eat my dinner, and I'll catch up with you in a bit. Right then, guys, it's an early checkout for me tonight now. I've been locked on the last God, good few hours now. I've lost count. You know, when you get to a point, you keep looking at it, and it starts going fuzzy, so I'm just going to call it a day, and I think it's because I'm getting tired, to be honest with you. I'm going to get some shut eye and get up early hours of the morning, and um, hopefully... Um, get up just before that bite time if you like so yeah I'm gonna sit back now and get a good night's sleep and uh, catch up with you hopefully very soon it's all gone a bit mad this morning um, screaming run I got this in the net look at that so I'll get that out in a second show you we're gonna do a move um, the winds clearly hacking down this end I've <laughs> my rod is pointing that way so obviously prior to people turning up I said Louis we need to move so that's the first thing we're going to do we're going to move we've put buckets in the swim we're going to pack up our gear now we're going to head back down there I'm going to get this fish out now show you very quickly but the main priority now is getting down that end because the fish are clearly down that end and following that wind because it was almost <laughs> pretty crazy this morning actually it was like <laughs> look at this my bivvy's absolutely soaked my bed chair's soaked everything's soaked Louis had the same scenario you're in mate in you so <laughs> But yeah, wind's 
down that end. Definitely, definitely on the cards for a move. So let's get it. Well, it's the first one for me here at Hardwick and Smiths in, in the first beginning of Feb. Real nice scaly banger. Just over 20 pound, low 20 this one. Really, really happy, but I want to get them back ASAP because I want to get their rods out further up where the fish are. But what a way to start the day. We got here to about, we got, we, we're here, sorry, to about what, three o'clock? Something like that, yeah, Something I mean. like that. But yeah, what a banger. I'll quickly show the other side. That is the other side, guys. Well happy. Let's get you back, Mr. Mirror. Well, we finally moved in the peg. It was absolutely carnage. Obviously, didn't get any video of that, guys. It was absolutely horrendous moving. I'm absolutely soaked now. I'm dripping like an egg sandwich, but we're fish up, which is fantastic. Rod's out on the money. I've just put about 10 to 12 spawns out, which is the first thing I've done. Even before I put a rod out, um, and then I put the two rods on the money, and they went out first time, thank God. Um, I've even broke a few bags. You know how it is when you're sort of on the bank and you're trying to make bags with wet hands and they've been dissolving and all sorts. It's been a bit of a nightmare, but the rods are out. Louis is about to get his rods out and I'm feeling slightly confident now that the fish are definitely over this way and I'm glad we've done the move. Hopefully now it pays off and we can nick some absolute nosser pigs. Like I said, we've got to about three o'clock today, ish around that sort of time and um, <laughs> let's get some fish on the bank. Come on. Wow, well, we're, we're boiling at the moment. <laughs> Kettle, kettle on the go, couple of couple of coffees to warm my hands up because my hands are absolutely, absolutely freezing at the moment. One thing I didn't mention, guys, is myself and Louis, what we've done is, because we're fishing out the same peg, we've limited our rods down, so there's not six rods in the water, there's now four. So I think that line pressure sometimes, sometimes can make a difference. But like I said before, we're both on the money. We've now topped up with bait, time for a coffee, and now it's time for them carp to hopefully <laughs> come out and play. Right then guys, just for a sort of touch base now, it's about half past 10, quarter to 11-ish, something like that. Um, we haven't had any fish as of yet. It's completely changed scenario up here now, like everything is completely different. We've got the sun behind us, clear skies behind me there. It's absolutely beautiful up here. Hopefully that doesn't mean the fish are going to start pulling up. But what I have been doing is as well guys, I just wanted to touch on, was playing with my camera settings on the on the on the, on, the, on this particular vlog i've just changed autofocus off which i think it keeps trying to focus on my face when i've got a fish it's focused on my face and not the fish so apologies for that guys and <laughs> hopefully that won't happen again this happened on the last couple and i haven't noticed what it was but i think i think i've nailed it now and um i've turned that off so again i'll say it one more time i do apologize for that guys because i want to try and bring you the best content i possibly can with the with the stuff i've got so yeah that's the update for now what I might do is in a second is touch on the bait that we're putting out um, it is the OG fish but I'll touch on it a little bit more because there's a few, a few other little um, naughty bits in there so and it's and it's doing the job so like I said what I'll do is I'll touch base with you in a little while or, or very soon and we'll go into a bit of the bait right so there it is guys and what it is is we've got some sweet corn in there some hemp there's also some OG fish in the 10 millers and also the fruit and nut in the 10 millers it's been covered in the sauce, we've soaked it a couple of days before and then it's been hit with the magic dust and quite a bit of magic dust to be fair, um, got a bit carried away but that is the chosen mix for this particular session and um, like I said that one was doing the do over the rod that I had the fish so time to top up I think and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add a little bit of our new bait spray which is our, our fishy bait spray I'm going to spray some that over and what it does is it puts a lovely slick over the top. So, that's the plan of action now. Happy days. Oh, oh crikey. There we go. Um, topped up spawn. Just put five spawns out there and um, they went out pretty damn good. So I'm happy with them. Um, <laughs> me and Lou just had a conversation then. We're saying, wouldn't it be nice to catch a 40 pounder? Wouldn't it be nice to catch a 40? My God, that would make the trip, that really would. But um, there's a couple in here to be had as well, but a few I think actually. So fingers crossed, um, like I said, rods out on the dance floor on the money, bait where it should be, um, confident in the bait as well. We've got cars, vans going past behind us and all sorts here. But um, yeah, we're gonna sit back now and uh, finish off my coffee and fingers crossed, that bobbin smashes up, hits the blank and we're into something rhinoceros style. I'll see you in a bit. 
well there it is I thought I'd just show you that that was the actual rig I had the fish on earlier a little OG fish which is our new little barrel sort of puff wafters I would sort of say you can put a little sliver on to put them up there a little bit more but they sit absolutely beautiful on the back of the hook there but like I said that's what done the damage I just thought I'd show you what I had it on Stop scatting, you don't need to be like that, do you? Just eat your boilies. They're being fed, mate. I'll enjoy my crisps and you enjoy them OG fish. Mmm. Taste that magic dust, can't you? Mmm. Alright, mate, I have to be a bit close for comfort, that. Back up. It's come for the crisps. <laughs> You ain't having no crisps, mate. <laughs> no way. And no breakfast. Yeah. Just my tablets and some crisps fry. Time's right. So time is ticking. It's just coming up to one o'clock now. Like I said, we've got a few more hours. But we've been standing now. I'll try, I'll try and point to it. But just off our spot, two slick patches have come up, which would sort of indicate that there's fish over there feeding. All the rods are on the money. I've said that about a thousand times today. We're on about 17th coffee, I think, now as well. Uh, <laughs> but fingers crossed, fingers crossed. Um, in the next couple of hours, they switch on and we can start nicking a few. That would be absolutely amazing. Oh no, it's that time. Still carnage in the swim, but slowly starting to pack up. The guy's already put a bucket in our swim. Look at it mate, it looks absolutely mega out there, like I said I know I keep saying that but it does. I think the guy's going to be dropping in till Monday, that's like f f four nights or something like that. That's mental, he's, he's going to have it off, absolutely going to have it off. If they switch on, it's game over. What a peg to be in. Oh mate. Right well, that is it guys. Rod's packed away and I'm, you can probably see behind me the bailiff's just up there, just spoke to the bailiff as well. And he turned around and said um, the lake had done a <laughs> had done a fish in two weeks, so to catch one and nick one, I'm absolutely buzzing. I really, really am, and it makes made made it all worthwhile. There's a guy that come down this morning as well. I spoke to him. He's been there five nights now, five nights, and not had a not had a run. So it has it's been fishing hard. So like I said, we've done well to have one. But I'm going to leave it at that, guys. Um, and hopefully you've enjoyed this video, although it was only a short one. A couple of things before I go. If you haven't already, guys, I'll put up the top of the screen now Louis Instagram. And like I said, he's one of our Parker Bates ambassadors. So go and check out and hit that follow button on, on his Instagram. And secondly, if you haven't already, guys, make sure you go over to parkerbaits.co.uk and check out our products and also go over to our social medias as well. So I'm gonna leave it at that guys, and like I said, hopefully you've liked this video. If you have, give us a thumbs up, make sure you comment down below. Smash that subscribe button so you don't miss any videos going forward. And like I say, I'll see you same time next Sunday, 7.30. All the best, peace out.